Okay, what we're looking at here is pine needle and inner bark from the pine tree. The reddish, whitish inner bark under the hard, dead outer bark level from the pine tree. The pine tree is another wild medicinal has many many medicinal properties uh, the way you get the benefits of the medicinal properties from the from the pine tree is making pine needle tea and also pine bark tea what you want to do is select a bunch of pine needles from the furthest end of a branch those are the ones you want you cut them up into sections a couple of inches long you cut the ends off because you don't want that in your tea and is very very high in vitamin C all you need to do is add it to hot water do not boil it do not just put them in water and boil it you want to just add it to hot water let it steep for 15 minutes strain out the uh, the pine needles and uh, add whatever you like to have in your tea. Uh, we're going to give you some facts about the pine needles first. And then we're going to move on to the pine bark. Uh, is First off, it's very, very, very high in vitamin C. Uh, vitamin A. Vitamin K. The antioxidant beta carotene. Thiamine. Riboflavin. Niacin. Uh, pan pantothenic acid vitamin b6 uh, is full of folate uh, it's long been used as a treatment for arthritis aches and pains and and sore muscles uh, is is used for uh, coughs bronchitis it has very good uh, mucus clearing uh, properties uh, is it's a good decongestant uh, it's good for soothing throat inflammation uh, it is it, it's, it's been known to reverse the aging process uh, but I must give you a warning especially to the sisters out here if you're going to be consuming uh, pine needle tea uh, you do not need to consume pine needle tea if you are pregnant or you think you are pregnant or anything like that because pine needle tea uh, especially in the ponderosa pine uh, which is found over in the western part of the United States has been known to cause abortion of calves in cows that eat the pine needle. So if you're pregnant, if you think you're pregnant, if you're trying to get pregnant, do not consume the pine needle tea. Other than that, it's completely safe to consume and it's very, very nutritious and has lots of health benefits. Now, let's move on to the inner bark of the pine tree. We're going to give you a closer look at it here. This is the layer right underneath the hard bark layer. It's whitish, reddish color. Uh, it contains huge amounts of the, of the antioxidants known as OPCs. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the word that, uh, OPC uh, stands for, but uh, it's an antioxidant, and what it does, it protects, uh, it protects your cells from free radical damage. Um, it also protects your DNA from environmental mutagens. That's different things that may be unnatural coming into the environment that may cause mutations in your DNA if you come in contact with it. This has antioxidants that fight against that. Uh, you make the tea, you prepare the tea in the same way that you prepare the pine needle tea. You put it in water, not boiling, just hot water. Let it steep for 15 minutes. Strain it. Add whatever you like to have to it and consume it. And uh, that about brings us to the end of our information on pine bark and pine needles. It's a great remedy for a cold, full of vitamin C, packed with antioxidants. 
Uh, some of my Moorish brothers may like this. Uh, it's very, very widely used by Native American tribes. Uh, many of the early settlers uh, that were getting scurvy uh, from lack of vitamin C and just dropping off in huge numbers. And they saw that the natives were not dropping off in, in huge numbers and suffering from scurvy. And they just couldn't figure out why. So, uh, you know, they asked the natives, and the natives just pointed up and said, you know, we drink tea from the pine needles. Uh, of course, the settlers, once they uh, got this information, uh, gathered themselves, got back on their feet, they ended up taking this particular tribe uh, captive and took them off to a place where they all died. So I guess the moral we can take from this story is be careful who you give good advice to. Uh, peace and black power and go out and get you some pine needle tea. Thank you.